Uh, social media is such a, a, a huge part of your generation. Uh, you're all involved to varying degrees. And all kidding aside, I'm going to start with you. What have you learned about do's and don'ts and, and what you can do, what you should do? A lot. You know, um, it's, it, can, it can get you in trouble and it can make you a lot of money at the same time. You know, um, a lot of guys take advantage of it the right way. And then a lot of guys don't, they don't know any better and they, they, um, they follow up and, and, and get themselves in trouble. But um, it's, it's all about how you, how you handle it, you know what I'm saying? If you get that slap in the wrist and you get yourself in trouble, you can learn from it and um, turn the page and, and, and build a new, I don't know, new reputation towards it. But, um, or you guys that you know handle it well don't really, some, some guys don't even um, handle their social media. They have assistants and stuff like that that, that handle that. But um, I don't know, it's something that you can, you can take either way you want to take with it. What have you figured out about it? Do, do you feel like it's something you should do, you have to do, or something you want to do? I think we should definitely do it. Um, it's a way to interact with your fans. Um, when these people support us, they buy our jerseys. You know, the NBA is nothing without you know, the people that are up in the stands. So, you know, trying to connect with them. Hey, Jenna. I just got exciting news that I'll be representing our Phoenix Suns in this year's NBA Draft Lottery in New York City. Since I'll be representing our great city and our great fans, I want to personally invite you and your family, the biggest Suns fans I know, to join me to take on New York City. Let me know what you think. Let's go. Let's go. You're going Booker. I do some social media that I don't even like, honestly. I don't like Snapchat, but I do it because, you know, a lot of my fans say they want me to be on Snapchat. So, you know, they have that more personal connection with you once they, you know, see what you're doing around the house and, and things like that. So I try to stay connected in that way. I'm not really a fan of social media, but in that regards of connecting with the people that support you, you know, I think it's definitely a, a need. So for you, it's more of an obligation. Yeah, yeah, I'll say so, yeah. Well, and, and for you, it clearly is a lot of fun. <laughs> sure, it's a lot of fun. You know, um, for me, it's a, it's a way for me to show my, pers show my, my personality, um, you know, but, you know, late, uh, I mean, you can go back to when I got drafted. I think that's when I started all the craziness on social media and all that stuff. But I enjoy it. Like Devin said, it's a way for you to connect with your fans and uh, just enjoy life, I guess. I think it's a great way to get in touch with your fans, you know, interact with them. Like Devin said, um, I'm like him. I'm not really into, into doing social media. You know, I like, you know, just very kind of private life. You know, I kind of do what I got to do behind the scenes and then, you know, that's it. But um, I think it's great. I think it gives us a chance to really, you know, let our, our fans and people see our lives and uh, feel like they're part of it, you know, like they've been following us all day. So it's a, it's a cool way of, you know, giving people a chance to really, uh, I guess, live vicariously through us as NBA player. Joel, back to the uh, subject of fun, which I know is one of your favorites. Uh, the dancing. We see a lot of you dancing. Sure is right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when your bosses maybe would prefer you not be dancing. Well, what's with all the dancing? I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty good dancer. Uh, I feel like I can be future and like those music videos and stuff. So anytime I get a chance to like show off and like what I could do, that I could move and uh, I'm going to do. But, you know, it just it just happens in the moment, you know. Uh, man, going back to going on stage and I wasn't trying to dance and stuff, but it just happened in the, in the moment. I felt like the adrenaline and just made me dance. 